Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Iron Banner 2.0. But just before I get into that, I want to say firstly, sorry for last week. I know there were a couple of days when I didn't get some Destiny videos out. Uh, it's been a really busy week and also I've had internet trouble with the modem kind of broke and it kept on sort of the internet cut and cutting out. So it's a real pain, but that has now been fixed. And also, yeah, I was at the Halo launch event on the Monday last week. Had a few really late nights at work because it was just a really busy week. There was like Halo last week, there was um, Dragon Age EA Access, and there was also Assassin's Creed. So there were so many games, and next week's going to be no better. You know, you've got GTA, Far Cry, and Dragon Age is launched as well, so that's going to be a really hectic week. But anyway, you're not there to worry about those games. But that was why it was sort of like delayed last week. I still bring you daily gaming content. You know, a couple of days it might not be Destiny. Yeah, for example, like last week I did Mario Kart because the DLC came out, and this week I'm sort of dropping some uh, Assassin's Creed videos, and plus we're going to be getting back on GTA. Like this channel before Destiny used to be quite big on GTA, we did quite a lot of GTA stuff, so with the game coming back does mean we're going to jump on that as well, but Destiny will still be here, so don't you worry, that's not going anywhere. But anyway, that's just sort of like letting you guys kind of like sort of know what was going on last week, so just sort of like give you a little picture, but let's get back to today. So, the long awaited return of the Iron Banner is coming back. Now, we don't quite yet have a date, but... Bungie put out their weekly update, which is now on Thursdays, by the way. So if you do follow their weekly updates, then make sure you check their website on Thursdays as opposed to Fridays. But they said in their weekly update that all things going well, um, or you know, kind of like all things permitting, then the Iron Banner will be here next week, end of next week, ideally. Uh, they are still sort of ironing things out, and they are trying to sort of, you know, they're furiously working to try and sort of test it out and make sure it's actually kind of what we want this time, because obviously last time the Iron Banner was met with such kind of negative reception, you know, it wasn't what everyone thought it was going to be. And yeah, people just didn't really like it. So they've gone away, they've done some improvements to it, and they are kind of promising that it's going to be a lot better. So we're going to detail some of those things in this post, or this post, <laughs> sorry, this video. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, you know, I'll let you know when we know a date, but hopefully it should be the end of next week. So, what is the Iron Banner going to do this time round? That makes you want to go back. You know, I for one wasn't particularly taken by it last time. To be honest, I don't actually spend that much time in the in the Crucible. You know, I spend a lot more time, you know, doing the weekly raid, doing the weekly uh, heroics, nightfall, all that kind of stuff like that. And I spend much more time doing PvP than I do, uh, sorry, PvP, PVE than I do PvP. Um, but still, that being said, there are some sort of like cool things in the Iron Banner that might make me come back. So, first up, power does supposedly matter this time. So first up, if you are level 20 and above, you can get into the Iron Banner on your own. If you are less or lower than level 20 and you want to get into the Iron Banner, you will need a chaperone. And what I mean by that is your fire team leader will need to be level 20 or above. If you don't have a fire team uh, leader or kind of someone on your friends list that's higher than level 20, you will not be able to enter the Iron Banner. What that therefore means is that you know the opponents you're typically going to come up against are going to be that much higher level and they are for, therefore going to be slightly more formidable opponents. What they're saying is that players that are within three levels of each other will be seen as kind of competitive to one another. So anything below that and you know it's going to be kind of a walk in the park. So for example if you're a level 28 and you know a level 17 rolls in then you should in theory according to this post be like a boss to them you know you should be able to dominate them and they shouldn't really even consider going up against you so within three levels you'll be competitive so you know a level 25 can still take on a level 28 you know it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get stomped down but below that then yeah you're going to be struggling to help further reinforce that your defense ratings do matter this time so do equip your best armor if there's a level 30 out there with full raid gear that's fully upgraded and they're going up against level 17, as I said, they will seem like a boss to that person. That's what, at least that's what they're saying. You know, again, whether that actually happens, whether we go in and find an actual fact that's not the case, we'll have to wait and see. But what they're saying in this post is that if you have your fully upgraded armor and you've got really, really good defense, then you are going to be that much better than someone that has got lesser gear than yourself. So hopefully this time around, defense really does matter. I have got full exotic and raid gear, so I am kind of ready to go. So let's go and see. As soon as that drops, I am going to be jumping in as my level 30 self and I'll be reporting back and letting you know if that is indeed going to happen. Which might be really good for me because, <laughs> you know, I'm alright I'm at PvP, I can hold my own, but at the end of the day, there are better players out there than me. So if I can go with my strong armor and be like, yes, then yeah, I'll be definitely, I'll be telling you straight away. But anyway, on top of that, aside from defense, there's also attack. So attack will also, your attack stat will also matter. So again, if you've got like, you know, a much higher attack stat with like a fully maxed up weapon, you again will be a more formidable opponent. But they did say that if you've got a lower level who has got a fully maxed up weapon, then you should still worry about them. So for example, if you're level 20, uh, you know, maybe you've got two characters and you pass like your level, you know, you've got your level 30 character and you've sent your Cirrus regime that's fully maxed out over to your level 20 and he goes into the Crucible, into the Iron Banner then he could still be a formidable opponent, so you do want to watch out because the attack he'll be kicking out will still be relevant and will still be pretty damn good. So they're the main points that they raised in the in the post, and they are the points that should go, you know, kind of go lengths to illustrate 
how they're trying to actually make it so that power does matter. So again, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see whether this actually does come to fruition. But that, uh, or they, those are the changes they put in place. So you know, it is promising. It does sound like they, you know, they're clearly listening. Bungie are listening. They are really trying to improve the game. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a strong believer that. Okay, I mean, I love Destiny as it is. You know, I still play it every single day without fail. Um, but you know, I'm still not blind to it. I do still think there are so many more things that are going to come to this game so many more things that will improve it and you know in time Bungie are listening so hopefully hopefully this is a uh, one small step but anyway next so the other thing is uh, I mentioned this in a previous video but the concept of tempered tempered is a buff that lasts for 12 hours and it basically speeds up the um, the XP that you gain in the crucible this way the idea being that if someone works during the week you work Monday to Friday you can only play on Saturday and Sunday then what you can do is you can activate it on Saturday and Sunday and you'll be getting a boost that the players that have been playing all week won't be getting that way it allows you to catch up to them uh, and more importantly you know there are now five ranks in uh, the Iron Banner rank, you know, before there were only three, now there are five, and that way, you know, if you're starting, like for example, myself, I stopped playing the Iron Banner last time, so I am still at level zero. And actually, no, I'm, not, I'm level one because I bought the cape. Um, I'm still level one, so I've obviously still got quite a way to go. So it does obviously mean if I'm busy during the week, which obviously I will be, uh, then I can jump on at the weekend, activate that for 12 hours, and then just sort of like blitz the Crucible, and hopefully, you know, catch up and get to that, that high rank. But the thing is, you shouldn't worry too much because the other thing that's worth mentioning is that. They said before they want to change the way that the ranking system works for Iron Banner. And what I mean by that is that this is supposed to be, you know, it's not your conventional kind of like vendor where you go in, you grind out your XP, and you hit sort of level 5 and you just sort of like leave it there. This is supposed to be like a timely event where, you know, it comes in together, everybody works in, you know, they jump into this sort of like crucible, they fight for a week, like a really hard long week, and by the end of the week you see what your rank is, and the next time round you do it all over again. So the idea is that this time round the max rank will be number 5 or level 5, but then when the Iron Banner returns for a third time, the ranking system would have changed. So that ranked 5 will be reset, and it will be replaced with sort of like a... I mean, they haven't actually detailed what it will be, but I would speculate it will be kind of like a skill-based or point-based ranking system whereby, you know, the time invested reflects the rank you have at the end of it, and therefore that will kind of learn, sort of go into a leaderboard or something like that. I imagine that's probably how it's going to be. But the point is, don't get too attached to your rank this time, because even if you hit level 5, when it comes back next time, you will not be level 5. But for those of you that did uh, level up last time, your rank has been preserved. So if you were level 2 or 3 last time, then you can still continue from that point. But anyway, yes, so therefore this should kind of hopefully, you know, include more people kind of or get people to sort of like come back if they've been working a week. Because I appreciate, you know, if it's only there for a week, then, you know, there's not really much incentive to jump on on Sunday if you haven't played a week. Because it's just going to take you ages to sort of, you know, or you're not going to get anyway. But anyway, so that's the concept of tempered. Then moving on to uh, winners and losers as well, because I mentioned this again before. Um, but the idea that last time, you know, people were taking Iron Banner really seriously, you know, they went in, they kept on getting destroyed, and then they sort of kept on quitting. And the method that's been put in place to sort of like try and prevent this is through Iron Medallions. And Iron Medallions are basically a coin whereby if you lose a match, uh, and you stay there, you know, you don't quit out, then you get given an Iron Medallion. Now, the Medallion itself doesn't actually do anything, but the next time you actually win a match, that Medallion is converted into Iron Banner XP. So you're effectively having or storing potential XP. So by losing a match and still sticking it out, then, you know, you're sitting there saying, you know, I still stayed there, and then once you win, that is all converted into XP, which you can then use towards your rank. So that way, whether you win or lose, you are technically earning XP, just albeit in a different way. So therefore, quitters never prosper, so make sure you stick around and do not rage quit. Now, in the last video, I also mentioned how certain elements or certain items in the Iron Banner gear set will actually help you get slightly close to level 30. Because people said before how, you know, if it, they rely on the raid, you know, you have to go to the raid. And if you haven't got a raid pass and you can't get into the raid, then you're stuck at level 29. And it's a bit of a kind of shitty way to sort of play the game. So, uh, Bungie did say that select items from the Iron Banner uh, armor set will help you get close to level 30. Now, do bear in mind they haven't actually in this post categorically said this item and this item will have a light stat of level 30. They've just said they will help you get closer to level 30. I would therefore assume that is the case. But until it's actually in writing in, you know, in stone and kind of etched out in a flipping tablet, I kind of like take that with a pinch of salt. But the point is, if it's supposed to get you close to level 30, then I would assume you could then use these as viable options towards your overall gear set. And the way they've said this is that you can get boots and gauntlets, which will get you close to level 30. They didn't say things like the helmet or the chest, so I imagine they will still remain the same. But boots and gauntlets will supposedly, supposedly, get you close to 30. So if that's the case, then that means you could have, say, like an exotic helm, uh, the raid chest... And then that way you could have Iron Banner boots and gauntlets, and supposedly you would then hit level 30. 
Again, as and when we know more on that, I will report back, but that is what they've said so far. In addition to that, also the other thing you can do with uh, the Iron Banner stuff is that you can reforge your weapons. So there was a hand cannon last time, an Iron Banner hand cannon, which had sort of like a certain stat roll. Uh, but this time, you know, you can, this can sort of apply to all the different Iron Banner weapons. So if it's got a set of stats that, you know, you're not particularly happy with, you can pay to reforge it. And then when you reforge it, it will swap up the stats. If you've leveled it up at all, that will completely reset. So you have to start that weapon again from the beginning. But it will allow you to respec the stats of your weapon. Obviously, at the moment, it still looks to be random. So it could well be that you respec and you get either the same thing or you could get something completely rubbish. But the point is, you do now have an option. So if you do get a weapon, you think, oh, I would never use that because the stats are rubbish, then you might well be able to change that. And that is pretty much all you need to know about the Iron Banner 2.0. I will leave a link to the post in the description box down below so you can check it out for yourself. And you can read the entire post and read out all the details for the Iron Banner. But for the most part, that's all you need to know. So if you do have any questions, drop a comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. But as always, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, show your support. That's really helped me out. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. I will continue to uh, keep you up to date on this. So as and when I know a date, then make sure you keep it locked to our Twitters and also to YouTube because I'll do a video. My Twitter will probably be where you hear it first. So make sure you follow us on the official Arrows Gaming Twitter and also my Twitter down below. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.